This episode is all about St Richard's Prayer. Let's delve behind the dots. Of all the sacred choral pieces that I've composed, this one is definitely the most personal. It was commissioned by the Reverend Richard Abbott, who is also my foster father, brought me up. And he was responsible for me joining the church choir and also responsible for me becoming a composer. When he was ordained, um, he asked me to compose a piece for his ordination service. And that's what got me started as a composer. So I owe a huge debt of gratitude to Richard Abbott. He died at the end of 2022. And so when I recorded this album, this beautiful album with London Voices, I dedicated it to Richard's memory. And this setting is one of the tracks on that album. So you're probably familiar with the prayer already. The most uh, well-known bit is the refrain, may we know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly and follow thee more nearly day by day. Because of the, the way that the phrases are, know thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, it was just in my mind crying out for a sequence. I've always loved these words because the poetry is is so beautiful the the rhyme scheme of the clearly dearly and nearly so i mentioned in um, other episodes that i always find f major is a very wonderful key for prayerful music there's something about the sound of f major that just sounds like it belongs in church lots of lots of uh, hymns and carols are in this key and I decided to set it for sopranos, altos and then unison lower voices. This is something that I'm doing more and more actually because not all parish church choirs have enough lower voices to be able to comfortably divide into tenors and basses so it's quite nice to amalgamate the lower line sometimes which is what I've done here. So to put the V on the first downbeat rather than thanks. Thanks be to thee, so that it's clear who we are saying thank you to. Then for the O oh Most Merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, saviour, hear our prayer, I have a chord progression where this time the bass line is rising. So it's almost as if the prayer that you're speaking or, or singing is lifting up to God. And then finally, for the last version of the chorus, I've just added a very, very simple descant above. doesn't go high because not all parish church choirs have sopranos who are happy to suddenly um, shoot off the stave um, and so it only goes up to a, to a D on the stave 
but it's enough just to give that final chorus something a little bit different and to make it clear to the congregation that the piece is drawing to an end. So I hope that this short introduction will inspire you to sing my setting of St Richard's Prayer with your choir.